The Fredericktown Black Cats football team went 3-7 in 2019, and those three wins are the most they've had in a season since 2014 when they were 4-7. The Black Cats haven't had a winning season since 2012 when they went 6-5. and five. Head coach Chuck Ford has been with the program since 1994, but this is just his fourth season as the lead man. Coach Ford thinks wins will come with some simple changes. Basically, it's just changing the attitude, changing the work ethic, changing the things. What we've been doing is getting us better, but it's only getting us one game better a season. We're, we're wanting to get better seven games. So we've got to make a drastic change in not only our work ethic, but how we do things, uh, you know, the effort we put into it, the attitude we have doing it, it. It's all about changing the total culture. Coach Ford says when he took the job as the leader of the Black Cats football program, it was going to take some time, and he set out a four-year plan. Well, 2020 is year four, and he's got quite a few seniors leading the charge. QB1 is Evan Burrows. He's played football since he was in kindergarten and been the starter for Fredericktown the last two seasons. Burrows is quite modest when it comes to personal goals for the upcoming season, but he says there is one thing he would love to achieve. Uh, I mean, I don't really have many goals for myself. I just want us to help win, win games. And total, I would be great just to win our district and conference. It would be the first time I think we've done it in Fairtown, or at least haven't done it in a long time. It'd be really nice to do that. One of Burroughs' key protectors is senior teammate Braden Lee. Lee was quite literally thrown into the trenches as he started as a freshman for the Black Cats back in 2017. Well, I, I consider our whole freshman class pretty large, but obviously I'm going to be just like a freshman against, I don't know, probably 240 against 300 pounds, 6'2", other linemen. I was scared. I really wasn't confident in my playing abilities, so I kind of was... I didn't really do as probably as I should have, but as the year's going on, I've, I, in my eyes, I'm sure in the coach's eyes, um, I've progressed a lot in strength and speed. Fredericktown allowed their opponents to score 27 points per game last season, which happens to be their best defensive output in the last four years. However, Coach Ford has brought in a couple of new defensive-minded coaches to keep that trend going in the right direction. On the offensive side of the ball, they put up just under 24 points per game, and Ford says he's just got to get the ball into the right hands this season. I love getting the ball to our athletes and letting them do what they do. Um, and we have some good athletes on this football team. We've got a quarterback that can get them the ball. We've got linemen now that are mature and, and know how to get after people. We've got one of the best running backs in the conference, I think. They're, they're top-notch athletes. Uh, so uh, I think we've got all the right tools. Uh, it's just a matter of getting the, the right guy the ball at the right time. Changing the culture seems to be the motto for Coach Ford and company in 2020. The recipe to do that is never easy, but Ford thinks if the work ethic, leadership, and execution is perfect, or to the best of their abilities, the wins will come. However, he also knows it all starts with leadership from the senior class. Uh, just by working harder and leading by example and uh, showing that the underclassmen like what to do when we're, and help them coach, coach them a little bit when they're confused and just show them how hard you have to work just to get to try to get undefeated. I, if I see a teammate struggling like in a drill, I'll try to correct him, you know, not like not in their face, like spit it in their face, like angry, but I'm gonna try to get them like right and try to make them do well in a game, any like strict possibility they can. But in practices I'm in games, I'm vocal and I lead by uh, example as much as I can just to show the like, underclassmen how much you gotta work. Fredericktown kicks off the 2020 season on August 28th at home against Jefferson R7. The goals are lofty, the culture needs changing, and they're just focusing on themselves right now to make sure all of that gets done in time for the opening kickoff at the end of August. We're just focusing on what we can do and, and getting our, our squad to, to be the best that they can be. Um, it's hard to do because we never face during practice what we're going to see on Friday night, so it's really hard to do. Uh, but just getting that mentality that we need to be, that's why at the end of practice today, we ran 12 perfect plays. Uh, just execute the play, get out of the huddle, get to the line, those kind of things, doing those little things right. For Regional Radio Sports, I'm Jacob Vinson. Make it ready. One, two, three, Blackheads!